I have with me Bates Reed, the Bates Reed. He's a farmer, he's a minister, uh, and a community builder. We're going to talk today about building community through farming and creating a sustainable community. Yeah. And whatever else we end up talking and whatever about. Whatever else, that sounds great to me. Cool. Let's uh, start off. You are located in Tennessee. Yeah, in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga. And in Pikeville, Tennessee now. Pikeville and Chattanooga. Right. Nice. Yeah. And you are part of, actually, the founder and creator of Chi Farms. I already got something that's, wrong. That's a tough <laughs> one because you say you are the founder and creator when in reality it took a lot of people to bring it about and make it happen. So uh, concepts and ideas I've helped assist in, in, in bringing through, but it's a group of many people now that, are, that have actually just from the beginning have come together to manifest and create it. Awesome. Uh, so let's talk about that. What is the organization? Chiefarms.com? Uh, Chiefarms.com is not up and running yet, but Facebook, Chief Farms is on there. We really have just begun posting there. Most of our information right now is on the various community uh -huh. pages that we have. Like there's, there's Community of Chi, Community of Chi Pikeville, and that's where a lot of information, those are groups, and you can ask to join those. And Chimunity. And community, uh, ah, that's the Facebook one that anybody can go to and see what's going on. Community. So it's the word chi combined with the word community. Chi community. Like creating life force community. The overall concept is that we are all life force. We are all that, that one with source, with God, a piece of life. The etheric meaning of what we're creating is that we're all connected and anyone in this world in this universe <laughs> in this dimension whatever you want to say but anyone on that wants to be on a farm and help create community or socially intentional community can do that we can all work together to create a new way of living a better way of living so let's uh, let's step back how did how did this come about the chief farms part started about a year well about a year and a half ago with these groups we called potluckers people getting together and and saying uh, let's let's talk about what's on our mind what our passions are um, and then, uh, luckily, I got to be in. I got to know about that potlucker group, and I went to a couple of those. And they started doing things like free card, free garden community projects. And of course, the more I hear about, the more I, I hear all of these potlucks are, are popping up all over the place, all over the country, all over the world. There's a, some kind of mass consciousness thing happening where people are wanting to get together and talk about real passions of their own and how to. How do I help? How do I assist in creating those with others? So now what does it look like? You have people on the farm living there? They're just beginning to come. Right. And Build uh, it and they will come. Build it and they will come. And, and, and so, you know, with this craziness that happened with Community of Chi and the other, and just the community of people loving each other down in Chattanooga, it sort of started expanding. And, and we now have, so we have a community house in Chattanooga. We have a community house now in Pikeville where people can come for very little money if they're trying to get out of that, I call it the third dimensional world of just going to work every day, going home, paying your bills, getting up the next day, going to work, having a whole week or a whole two weeks of vacation out of your entire life. A lot of people, a lot of millennials especially, don't want to live that yeah. way anymore. And there's a lot of us boomers that, that, that have done that and said, we don't want to live that way yeah. anymore either. Let's find some simple ways people to People are ready. They're closing the shop, selling the house, buying yep. a ticket to wherever. And yep. Yeah. yeah, and it's happening. It's happening in a big way. And what kind of farming do you do? Uh, we, I would, we've been, as it develops and is created, we, we are a f farmer's farm. We are growing vegetables, and uh, we've got about 20 acres in which to grow those vegetables on. Uh, our other partners now in, in the Sequatchie Valley, uh, like we have a meat farm that is all organic meats, and so they have chickens, turkeys, pigs, and I think a few cows, uh, but it's all natural. It's There's no antibiotics in any of the food. We're creating uh, 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 CSAs, Community Sustained uh, Agriculture. I thought it was Cain Slade Able. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about these meats and these vegetables. These meats and these I don't vegetables. Know. I don't know. <laughs> so there's something for everybody. Good try. There's something for everybody. <laughs> and then we have another farm now up there that specializes in mushrooms, like growing like all the kind of mushrooms you eat. The magic mushrooms? I don't know. 
But they, they maybe, <laughs> but, but I don't know if they're growing those or not. Okay. But but I tell you, some really they are magical mushrooms when you eat them because they you know they replace meat for a lot of people. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And then and then the, one of the other farms is a trout farm. Beautiful trout. So we have fish. We have organ, organic healthy fish. We've got meats. We have vegetables now. And now that's been going on for a while, so it's nothing new. But when you start combining these energies and you keep start combining it, it just starts expanding within the area. And so now we're working in an entire region, inviting people in to, that want to come and play. We're building it so people come and say, this is my passion. I'd like to create this. Nice. And we're open, holding that space for that creation to happen, whatever is being called forth to do. So what is the vision? The vision is sustainability. The vision is a resource-based economy. Uh, the vision is to support the passions in each other, so that you know we grew. Up, I think we grew. We all grew up in this time where, where it was about what are you going to be when you grow up? What are you going to do? How are you going to make a living? Blah blah blah. Here, let's peg hole you into this. Mm -hmm. And what I see happening on the planet and communities everywhere is people are saying we're not, we don't want to be peg old anymore. We have so much talent and so much beauty as individuals, but when we combine with others of similar and like mind, so if, let's say you and I both like marketing and we, we became skilled at that in our regular lifetime, you know, working at a convention visitor bureau for me, or, or you working at Silent Unity at one point, whatever those skills are that can come together to support each other, mm -hmm. All of a sudden, we don't have competition anymore. We are supporting right, each other, right. and we're saying, "I want to support your vision. You want to support my vision. Let's yeah. let's do something beautiful with that." And that's what community is about. It's not about separation anymore. It's not about I have this skill and you could take it away from me. So stay over. No, it's you know, so stay away. It's about come together with me. Let let my tools support your tools and, and your gifts, so that we can create a better way of living for humanity rather than the separation we've created. It speaks to my heart. Agorism, or the mm -hmm. agorist movement, mm -hmm. where people are doing exactly what you're describing, mm -hmm. creating uh, mm -hmm. through voluntarism, through community, through yeah. barter, through any way it can be done th um, without violence, without yep. force, yep. Uh, breaking free of um, you know the old institutions, uh, breaking free of traditional paradigms and syst the systems, yeah. government, corporation, all that, you know, right. Monsanto, yeah. um, the, to name a big one, to name a big one, public government, education, any, any of those, you know, really embedded, uh, framework, framework structures. Yeah. They're embedded. So anything in that society. can be done to kind of break free from that in a little way, or this sounds like in a, in a pretty large way, if you can create a whole, uh, community of people uh, that just that just thrills me the, the, go, ahead, go ahead what I will say about it is I've seen it tried you know I've been involved in several communities in my life and the ones that have a good and you can call it spiritual I don't use the words religious that much even though I'm a minister I do use the word spiritual for me though but when, when there, there's spiritual tools and universal tools and when we share those in community it makes the community strong. Mm. When you don't share those, when you aren't working to support each other in, on, on each other's personal growth path, and really reaching down deep to find out what and who is there authentically, I think the community begins to lose mm -hmm. its impact on each other and what we can do in the world. So, you know, one of the things that I, I'm working really hard with right now is as people are coming into like our house in Chattanooga and the house in Pikeville and saying, let's set up a weekly, you know, a weekly gathering place where we can either do a meditation or we can do a yoga practice or we can talk about a, a particular subject that, that's on our minds. But that, that, that spiritual growth, yeah. that, that continued education of our souls and our hearts and our minds, I believe must continue in order to create a good, strong community. And that can look like whatever that community needs it to look like. It doesn't need to look like my community. It could look, your community's gonna look, it's gonna look different. Well, what I'm noticing. Yeah. Well, that does seem to be the trend. Um, big churches, you know, church attendance overall is going down, but people still do crave the spiritual nourishment right. and teachings. Right. 
and they still crave the community and the yeah. sense of belonging, and they crave opportunities to serve each other. Yeah. And this sounds perfect, like it fulfills all, all of those. You're not going to say religious to a lot of millennials, because they're not going to hear you. You know, it's, it's, it, you're not going to say church to a lot of right. millennials, because they don't want to go to a church, because they've seen too much ugly come out of churches in their lifetime, or felt something that didn't resonate with them. So to me, it's not about what we call it. It's right. about community is community. It might look like a church. It might look like a, a sustainable farm. It might look like a house where 11 people live together and act as a family and do their gardening and reach back and forth, taking food to the market from the country places that we establish. Beautiful. We don't know yet, but that seems to be what's happening with us. It's, we're creating these different locations with which we can all work together and move and support each other in a local economy. Great. So you see this growing? You see this? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I literally, I'm in so, and, and when I say gratitude, I know people say, oh, he's in that word gratitude, but I am, I'm just in so much gratitude because every day somebody or some new thought or something beautiful shows up to create something that's happening on this entire planet. And it's happening, and I think it's happening in pods. Mm -hmm. I call it community pods, and there, you know, a year ago, I knew we were forming a pod, sort of, in, in, in the Chattanooga and, and region, but now that pod has grown into not only Hamilton County, but Sequatchie Valley, because people are now talking more and doing more together. So I think these pods are, I know these pods, because I've, I've, I've done a lot of research at this point, they're popping up all over the world. If you're looking to create a community where you are, no matter where you are, what you're doing. You. You, you, I'm talking you. If you're looking to create something, give me a call, give us a call, start a community where you are, let us all support each other, let us all reach out and touch each other with the things we're doing so that you can maybe possibly gather a little piece of a nugget of something that will help you start your own or come see us. Excellent. Come live here with us. Come look at it. Beautiful. You can get in touch with Bates. We're going to, again, put that in the description, but Chimunity, C-H-I. Like M-M-U-N-I-T-Y. Chimunity on Facebook. And then you'll be seeing Chief Arms. That, that's getting ready to grow. We're getting ready to do a, a GoFundMe because we need tools. We need tractors. Or I'd rather have mules. I'd rather have the old-timey ways so we can get away from the, from the oil industry and things like that as much as possible but we will we, we you know we need people to fix the weed eaters small you know small machine people we need i mean there's every aspect of community we are open to now and uh, so as we expand that get on social media more we'll see what that turns into for all of us there will be more opportunities to support this uh, so go fund him and and if you are enjoying this program buddha brunch please yeah. like buddha brunch on facebook as well and lots of different interesting guests like Bates. And please throw a few bucks uh, subscription my way on Patreon.com. And Ned, I'd like to say to you, thank you for the work you're doing, connecting people like me, like others, doing all the amazing things and conscious work that we're doing. Because we need people like you to help us that don't know how to do this. Well, thank and you. It's your gift. And, then, and thank you for reaching out. Thanks. Thanks again, Bates. Yeah. And Thank to you, our viewers out there, namaste. Namaskar.